We're fostering our second litter of puppies for Woods Humane Society, and this time it's a litter of Chihuahua puppies. They're about seven weeks old now, and we'll have them for about another week until they're old enough to be spayed or neutered, and then they'll all be up for adoption. They didn't have names when they came to us, so we decided to give them names inspired by the life and music of Elton John. Let me introduce you to the pups. This brown one with the one white front paw is Reggie, which if you're a true Elton John fan, you'll know is Elton's real name. Remember Don't Go Breaking My Heart, the duet with Kiki D that was the number one song of 1976? We named this little girl Kiki. How about a tune called B -B -B Benny and the Jets? Remember that one? This brown boy is Benny. A song that was a big hit for Elton back in 1973 inspired the name for this pup, Meet Daniel. Most people won't know the song we named this little tan-colored girl after. Her name is Pinky, based on an album cut that I always liked from Elton's 1974 album Caribou. One of the lines of the song is, Pinky's as perfect as the 4th of July. This little black puppy is quite a bit smaller than some of the others in this litter, so we named her after one of the greatest Elton John songs of all time, Meet Tiny Dancer. And finally, this pup really stands out from all the other pups in the litter. He is completely unique, one of a kind. The only one with a long fur coat, always the most interested in getting attention from people, and the last one to run out of energy after all the other pups have faded out. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Elton. Puppies this age are very oral. They've got sharp little teeth, and they like to use them. They chew everything they can get their teeth on, so it's important to give them lots of chew toys. With older dogs, you have to be super careful about the use of rawhide chew toys, because if they break off a piece, it can get swallowed and cause trouble. But puppies this age are perfectly suited for supervised use of these little rawhide chew sticks. It lets them work out that urge to use their teeth without biting off the ear or the tail of a sibling. After raising 16 litters of Cocker Spaniel puppies back in the day, and with Kellen retired and able to spend all day taking care of puppies, we feel like we're in the perfect position now to be able to foster litters of puppies for Woods Humane Society. One of the things we learned a long time ago is the importance of providing lots of activities to keep puppies busy. If you don't give them things to do, they'll just turn on each other and it can get really vicious. So I'm constantly trying to come up with things to entertain the pups and tire them out. A tired out puppy causes no problems. A bored puppy gets into all sorts of trouble. Here's a simple little game that seven-week-old puppies love. It's called the high ground. A cushion from a patio lounger makes a fun little thing for the pups to get up on top of. And if they happen to roll off it and onto the grass, no one's going to get hurt. You'd be really surprised at how long something this simple can keep a litter of puppies entertained. Once they mastered that... We took things to a whole new level with a game I call the A-frame. Again, it's not so tall that if somebody tumbles down it or off of it, anyone's going to get hurt. But it burns up a lot of puppy energy to climb this thing and to defend the high ground. And after an hour or two of playing on this setup, the pups are ready for a good long nap. We also like to introduce puppies to some of our neighbors, which really helps to socialize the puppies with people. And it also helps us see which pups have an easy way with children and which ones don't. I can tell you that as far as this litter goes, it would be a real shame if Elton doesn't end up with a family that has a little boy, because Elton did really well with our neighbor Maddox. 
He was so interested in playing with Maddox, and they had a lot of fun together. So, I hope that's given you a glimpse of why we love fostering puppies for Woods Humane Society. Sitting out in our backyard and playing with a litter of puppies is just so full of joy. After we fostered our first litter, and that litter went on to their new homes, our house seemed so empty. It was such a relief when we got the call asking if we could foster this litter, and I can pretty much guarantee you that there's going to be a long string of other foster litters over the coming months and years. <laughs> 